Hello, hello. Uh, this is basically a tutorial on how to make the bottle ocarina or bottle uh, shun. Yeah. So you cut a uh, foising on the bottle or more like grinding I guess. So you can do it this way or you can actually cut off the head, right? Uh, to cut the glass, you basically have to use a grinder that can cut glass, like this type of uh, angle grinder. Uh, the grinding wheel is a special grinding wheel that is for cutting glass. And then as for the holes, you need to use these types of things, right? So they are like a, a diamond dust tip uh, grinder and you can use it on a Dremel tool and it's also possible to do it slightly submerged underwater just don't put any electricity into the water uh, just a tip in the water so the glass inside a, a bucket with water and you grind it with that because you don't want to be uh, breathing in the, the glass powder the silica dust powder into your lungs and it'll be very unhealthy for you right so this is uh, again <laughs> You need one of these, some of these grinder to grind those things, also the hole. And it will take some time. So just do it slowly, slowly, grind away, grind away. Put a little bit of water, grind away. You don't want to build up too much heat either. So just grind, grind, grind. Uh, I think it takes at least like about 10 minutes for each hole. And then you to tune it, you need to look at a lot of the videos of uh, Ocarina making. And this is a four hole finger ocarina. So you can uh, see how you tune it. It's basically dough with all close. Right. Uh, different sizes of the holes and then combinations of which ones to open. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go into that. So you just look at how to play a four hole ocarina, how to make a four holes ocarina, and they will give you more of that. But uh, to grind the glass itself, to shape it, yeah, you basically you need one of these tools or any other tool that can cut glass and uh, smooth glass. And then to cut the holes, I use things like this. And sometimes they have bigger bigger heads too, right? So they are called uh, diamond dust grinding uh, bits, okay? Alrighty, so that's the tutorial on how to do, to make one of these. If you want to make it into an ocarina, I actually make a mouthpiece uh, out of clay and then I attach it in here with Alteco two-part putty and that basically become an ocarina which is easier to play with than the shun. Okay, have fun, bye.